There you are. The intel cache we recovered from Hydra's gunship might seem sophisticated to the casual bystander, but they probably weren't expecting to go up against the likes of me. With Central's help, I can decrypt these babies in no time, providing us a valuable and fascinating glimpse into Hydra's twisted little minds. Any new leads? Beginning decryption sequence. Now we know what they're up to. The question is, what are we gonna do about it? Now that we've decrypted the intel, Let's put what we've learned to good use. Check out the available hero ops listed on Central. I think I can handle that. This is definitely the coziest war room I've ever been in. Quiet, too. soon. We've got a situation rapidly developing. I'll be in contact soon, Hunter. Hunter, my second favorite zombie superhero. Who is your first? Tony, on two hours of sleep. So, what do you need? I have questions for you. Sure, ask away. Tell me about yourself, Carol. What in particular? Who were you before you became Captain Marvel? Air Force pilot. I used to fly the unfriendly skies before I was attached to the space program. And back then, I was entirely human. You are not entirely human? Not since I uncovered actual for real aliens. There was an accident with some alien tech that rewrote my DNA, and now I'm half Kree. I have never heard of the Kree. Neither had I. They have a space empire. It's crazy to think they've been around far longer than you've been alive. How did Carol Danvers become Captain Marvel? During my time with the space program, I found myself involved in a conflict between alien species, Kree and Skrulls. I got too close to a device called the Psyche Magnetron, and it completely altered me. A Kree soldier known as Marvell felt responsible for what happened and took me under his wing. He was a hero in his own right, and we fought beside each other for years. He's gone now, but I took the name Captain Marvel as a tribute to what he stood for. Since then, I've made the name my own. Your strength is hard for me to fathom. With all this gamma weirdness keeping Banner in Banner form, I'm Earth's mightiest Avenger. <laughs> Once Thor realized the Hulk was in a class of his own, he was not happy to be in third place. He still challenges me to arm wrestling contests, and loses. He's much less salty since I started calling him Asgard's Mightiest Avenger. How powerful would you say you are? Hmm... When someone says we need to call in the big guns, they're talking about me. Just don't say it in front of Bruce. The Hulk is an order of magnitude stronger, no question. But he doesn't have my precision, patience, or reliability. At least, that's how Bruce put it. That much power. And it does not seem to have gone to your head. 
I do get cocky sometimes, but I don't take any of this for granted. And I always remember where I came from. Arrogance is like punching the afterburner with your wheels down. Tell me about the Avengers. Sure. What about us? How long have you been an Avenger? Over a decade. It's still hard to believe. We've been so busy dealing with one crisis or another, it's hard to mark the time. My coffee tally puts me just shy of 20,000, excluding the cups I forgot to track. What are your thoughts on your fellow Avengers? I'm with the team for a reason. I believe in what we do. All of us do. I'm sure you've noticed Tony can be abrasive, but I never doubt his commitment. <laughs> he and Banner used to fight like cats in a sack. Thankfully, they seem to be past that. And I can't think of anyone better to deal with a mystical enemy than Doctor Strange. He's a little out of sorts right now, what with being pushed out of his home, but he'll adjust. Do you think your team can find common ground with the Midnight Suns? Look, I try not to get involved in team politics. I'll work with anyone who gets the job done. I don't care what team they're from. Do all the Avengers feel the same? No comment. Thank you, Carol. Anytime. And hey, if you find the time, we should hang out. I will consider that. Of course. This Spider-Man sounds like a strange thing, swinging from the rooftops with some sort of spider fluid. Disgusting. We've seen what those rift charges can do. You can't allow Hydra to detonate them here.
Just focus on destroying the charges. Hydra has enough warm bodies to overwhelm you eventually. I see what you're talking about. They're mine. And I thought man thing was ugly. Come get it. stand before us as arrogantly as you have. Let's do it. on the move. You know what to do. That still won't be enough.
Everybody wants a piece of the Daywalker. to the things I have seen, and killed. I'll put this one. That's one charge down, but you're not out of the woods yet. are down. On Vader, moving into position. Take them out! Bring all you have. Try. You'll only embarrass yourself. Here we go. guards at my parking garage. My retaliation. I'll handle it. Watch the paint job. Up here. 
sure. Just keep throwing bodies at the problem. charge down, but you're not out of the woods yet. Just need to finish this. Prepare yourselves. That's a neat trick. You are nothing compared to the things I have seen and killed. Just lucky we aren't allowed to take your life. Don't play. Ah! Or to make things interesting. Time's over.
down over here. For Hydra. Away at me like some tree. Oh, I thought we were finished. No one will touch you. Everything solid so far? make a move yet? Order. No pressure, right? like these that give people like us a bad reputation. Time's so Time to bleed. We will not fail. They keep coming for me. 
your mother. coming in. You've got nothing to fear. Another protect us. You guys want to fight, huh? Seen that before. You are like a yeah. to me. I'll step on you if I have to. I think you got him. Sure, huh? Yeah. They're mine. Enough. Hey, watch the paint job. someday. Doesn't know when to quit. 
You are cowards. Ready? That's a neat trick. That's one charge down. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Follow my lead. We may have underestimated Hydra this time. up for these jumps. seen that before. I've got your back. I think they like me. Another Hydra operation foiled. I'll never get tired of hearing that.
away for Hunter, I was just looking for you. We need your assistance. Who is we? The Esoteric Mystical Order, specifically the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism. That is an elaborate name. You can blame Doctor Strange. Oh, I may have rearranged a few words so it spells out emo kids. Tell me what you need. Doctor Strange, Magic, and I are researching a crucial moment in your past, but it's probably better if we just show you. How about it? Ready to uncover one of the greatest mysteries about your life after death? Lead the way. Let's do it! So, about the spell that brought you back to life. Uh, it worked better than expected, but there are some... gaps. You are talking about my death. Exactly. The memories of your final moments might tell us how you defeated your mother three centuries ago. That could give us an edge this time around. Those memories are lost. Maybe not. We think there's a way to recover them. All you're gonna need is a mystical jumpstart. How would that work? Doctor Strange can explain it better than I, but if you want the abridged version, ask magic. And when you're ready to begin the ritual, let me know. Magic and Doctor Strange can tell you what to expect during the ritual. I will ask one of them. No rush. Hunter, I'm glad you're present for the inaugural meeting. Of what, exactly? Why, the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism, the Abbey's local chapter of the Esoteric Mystical Order. Right, emo kids. So, the ritual? Regarding your resurrection, we had to meticulously reunite your corpus or physical vessel with your animus or spiritual essence. How does this relate to the ritual? Animating your corpus was the easy part, but your essence, your thoughts, hopes, fears, and dreams, that was the slipperiest eel. Does the ritual require eels? But now, with the plenary potential of Miss Minoru's staff of one to focus Miss Rasputin's enigmatic energies, I, Doctor Strange... The ritual? The Sorcerer Supreme shall pluck from unreality your mislaid memory, thought lost to time and death. I shall stare those cosmic forces in their many eyes and shout, NAY! Doctor Strange, the ritual. How does it work? Didn't I just explain? I could start with the fundamental underpinnings of the multiverse theory if it would help. Just tell me what to expect. Ah, yes. You will focus on recalling what was lost as we do everything in our power to restore it. Simple, really. Yes? How does this ritual work? This is the ritual. You focus on the past, Nico zaps you with her staff, Strange chants and waggles his fingers, then you remember. Maybe. So why are you here? Should the zapping, chanting and waggling go bad, I will open a portal to Limbo and push you inside before the explosion. There is a chance I might explode. A very small chance. Unlikely.
How concerned should I be about exploding? Slightly more than usual. Does Strange have any other details about the ritual? Ha! Far too many. That is all I need to know. Tell Nico, and don't explode. The first part's easy. I need you to focus on your last memories before you fought Lilith. Will this help me remember? I can't answer that. When I start, you'll be the one making the repairs. The rest of us are here to keep you steady. <sighs> all right. If you're ready, we can begin. I am ready. Now, Hunter, tell us what you... I raced through the Abbey grounds. Angry. Terrified. It is too late. We were not ready. My foot slips, but I catch myself. I run with my blades exposed. I am completely alone. The moonlight guides my path. My lungs ache. My heart pounds. I rush toward my doom. I... I cannot... No! Whoa! We, we, we all saw that, right? I have no words to describe it. Finally. Well, how about that? Your final moments are there, just buried deep inside. It did not work. Not yet, but we made progress. I'm sure we can figure out a way for you to remember more the next time. Next time? Heck yeah! Emo kids meet every lunar alignment. Or, you know, whenever we're free on a slow night. Oh, and we need ingredients. Magic will send a list to your spark. If you bring enough, we can refine them into more useful mystical objects. We're done for today, but I'll be in touch about the next meeting. Catch you later! We've got a situation rapidly developing. I'll be in contact soon, Hunter. What are you doing, Faustus?
I know magic, right? this. What have you got for me, boss? Analyzing the Got some upgrades for you, hot off the press. Or forge. Found another artifact, Hunter? It's not entirely worthless, just not especially valuable either. Shh, 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 shh. Tony is working. We are finally getting some decent tech down here. Farewell. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Everything by the numbers. Tony and Doctor Strange may think they're the epicenter of our operations, but we all know this is where the real magic happens. I'm here if you need me.
Show no mercy. Hardly a concern for a Sorcerer Supreme. Not last much longer at this rate. This is a serious predicament. Watch closely. By her command. Not slow me down. to regain my sense. <laughs> you guys can all share one funeral. They cannot possibly match your strength. helps. you think you will fare any better? Hydra is in control of the situation. How many times is that? What was that? Focused effort. The light is on our side. like myself every day. No mercy for the servants of blood. Weak, even for Hydra. Position. 
Mission Tango! You've made a grave mistake. You will regret ever facing me. I may need some help here. Some for the rest of us. Follow my lead. Just what this battle requires. There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time has clearly passed. Until the end. Hardly a scratch. Hope you're ready. That feels so good. This is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. Let's give it a go. to rely upon hired hands occasionally. This usually works. <laughs> that was really something. This should aid me in my fight. The enemy has the upper hand. Bullet would be embarrassed by your weakness. Time, but whatever. We've done it. Excellent work.
my kind of ruckus. Hello. Feeling well today, dear? You said something earlier about the blood. In a world full of mysteries, the Blood have managed to remain even more mysterious than most. They were an ancient race, said to be born of the Elder Gods. As I understand it, they were very strict about maintaining their bloodline. That's probably why you don't hear about them very often. And yet, here you are. One of their direct descendants. Are there others? It's quite possible. But even if there are, they might not even know it themselves. Somehow, I take comfort in that. What they do not know cannot hurt them. Indeed. After our last battle, what happened to Lilith? You were in the woods. You and your mother obviously came to blows, but we found no wounds, no evidence of what happened at all. A silent, deathly embrace between mother and child. We had hoped you would both find peace in the next life. But she is not buried here. No. We entrusted her to the Knights of Wondergore, the ancient protectors of your ancestral homeland in Transia. I don't think they ever expected to contend with an organization like Hydra, and I doubt Lilith spared any who survived her reawakening. What would Wanda want with your altar? What can I say? Some people have a curious, adventurous itch that just has to be scratched. I was one of them, and so was Wanda. Caretaker, not so much. But I see it again in you, Hunter. So you encouraged her exploration? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What good is being as powerful as we are if we're just going to spend all our time cooped up within these walls? What's the worst that could happen? Uh... <laughs> you got me there, dear. What do you know about the Moon Seals? Presumably forged by the gods themselves. I like to think of a Moon Seal as both a lock and a key. With the right power, wielded by the right person, the energy of the Seal is unleashed, creating a conduit to the Elder Gods. And I am that right person. Just another benefit of being descended from the Blood. Lucky you, dear. Where did the words of power come from? While I often call them blessings or gifts of the old gods, the words of power are actually powerful invocations tuned to the unique energies found in descendants of the blood. And Caretaker used the words as well. Of course, dear. Sarah used the words of power on the Abbey grounds just as you do today. Many of the areas you encounter that seem receptive to these spells are actually the result of Sarah's frequent undertakings. <laughs> <laughs> 